Okay. Hello, no one and gentlemen. It's time for Mass Effect Andromeda. You know, the... Best one. <laughs> I'm gonna hit quick game, or new game right now. We're gonna hit customize. So, this game has a weird thing that keeps happening. Which is that, um... The <laughs> when I boot it up, it keeps telling me my PS4 is too hot, and then I need to turn it down. Uh, so that's alarming, but then it seems to normalize when I'm actually playing it. Or at least when I go past the menu. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> yeah? How much I did that take you here? I wasn't even invited! <laughs> yeah, you were. I just invited you. Oh, I mean, I wasn't even tagged, and I showed up before everybody. <laughs> well, you know. That's so funny. I was like, I'm gonna show the fuck up anyway and see if they'll add me. Well, on, on, night, on nights when neither of you have said you're coming, I don't, I don't want to preempt one of the uh, one or the other of you because yeah, things right. get weird. Yeah. yeah, right. Open that stream. Take a look. All right. So yeah, this game is like, is my PS4 quieting down? No, hold hopefully on, it does. Hold on a minute, I'm, I'm getting there. Um, I just woke up from... Because for some reason, I was I was really tired from work, and I was like, how about I nap, and then wake up at like 6? Oh yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. It does, yeah, it makes total sense. <laughs> Uh, history, female shepherd, yes. Okay, uh, I, have to, I have to mute it so that I can hear you without it echoing. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, here's the plan. Right, here's, here's, the plan. here's also why I'm streaming it, I should probably say that. Um, so, yeah. I, so I've been talking to Sam a lot lately, where we've just been like, Sam's actually wanting to play the trilogy again? And, and, and I was like, you know it's not on PS4, right? And he's like, what? I'm what? like, yeah, yeah, it's not. They never was, reported was it. Was three so, so bad that they were literally just, just like, we're not gonna, gonna release the trilogy as a pack? Well, well, EA basically said we don't like re-releasing games for this entire console gen, so they never did that. Uh, and then last year they're like, we're gonna start doing that. Uh, expect news in April. And me and Sam are like, oh, so, so now they're going to do it, because the money's running dry. I, I was going to say, like, like, was it, like, such a financial, financial loss that they were literally, like, like maybe we shouldn't we just should do, like, oh, a oh, three, pack? three was no financial loss. It's more, you'd expect them to have done it before this game. So it was less of a financial loss and more of, like, a critical loss, though. Right. Pretty much, okay. yeah. And okay. so... So then this game came out. Oh good, my PS4 is fine. Oh my done. god, I'm sorry. I have a whole bunch of like cosplay wigs and I have no idea. I'm trying to reorganize my closet and it's a fucking mess and I don't know where to put all my cosplay wigs. It's That does sound like a problem. Um, uh, I'm trying to prepare for um, uh, my girlfriend wants to go to PsychoCon. Um, what is that? I, I, that's a new one for me. Um, it is in the Poconos in Pennsylvania. It's it's one of the smaller. Is it, is it, a, is it a horror thing? No, uh, it's um, the way I pronounce it was weird. Uh, it's uh, oh, said, Psychocon. Yeah, said, sorry. Oh no, you said Psychocon. That had a very specific. Like I thought everyone was dressed up as Michael Myers. That would be that would cool, be cool as, fuck, as fuck, but I did go to a horror, horror convention once, once, and I got, yeah. like, literally every single artist card there, because I, all of the artists were amazing there, and did some stunning work. Um, but there was, like, a taxidermy mice there, and that was um, hilarious, actually. Um, I wasn't offended, because they said okay. that it was, like, e ethically done, so I was like, okay, that's fine. Someone showed up and then left during that story. I think that's pretty funny. It, it, was it was ethically done, done okay? <laughs> they said, hey, these, these mice, mice were, were ethically obtained, <laughs> and <laughs> we, we just, just found these, these dead, dead mice, mice, and, and we, we stuffed them and made them into hilarious, hilarious art. art. <laughs> it, 
Now this mouse is Beetlejuice. That's the way to go. <laughs> Beetle mouse. <laughs> Dead mouse? Oh. Oh. That's a... Oh! I'm gonna have to request that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's the plan. I'm gonna play this game every day for a while because I'm finally fed up of waiting for Dark Souls. I'll play that eventually. Uh, I'm gonna play this every day on stream for a while, honestly. My hero might cut into that a little at the end of this week. Uh, but, um, Speaking of, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna I need play to actually, um, I need, I to, need actually to actually watch, watch this season. season. I haven't been. You do, you do, it's a good time. Um, yeah, yeah which is which weird because I got a Dobby and Toga, Toga shirt recently. And well, everyone there's, keeps some, there's, some, there's some Toga in this season. Yes, yes queen. queen. Um, but, um, everyone keeps asking me, who are these people on your shirt? And I'm like, can't you read? It's Dobby and Toga, and it literally says their names in Japanese. Can't you read? <laughs> Uh, so, uh, I'm gonna play the game off stream as well, cause I would, yeah. I'm, I would like to, you know, make progress. Uh, right, yeah, but... you're not gonna, it's gonna be a long. Yep. Here's, so I played like 60% of this game, and then I gave up back when it came out. Sam actually finished it, uh, and he was like, I'm excited, moderately excited for whatever they do next, but they're never gonna get to go to what's next. Uh... Uh, the, 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 the bottom line plan for this playthrough, I am also playing as the, the girl, which I didn't do last time. Uh, I, Why? But... Do you not like girls? Girl? International Girl. Women's Day! Oh no! <laughs> I've been outed! That's a, that's a woman hater as I kick you from the Red party. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, I'm going to be... I'm, I, here's the thing, I looked up what the romance options were for this game, because I had a very specific one I, I had in mind, because there was one character I really liked more than anybody so else So what you're this. saying is you're going, you're going to, fuck to fuck on stream. stream. Yes. It might yes. not happen on stream, but there will be implied fucking whether, whether I, it happens I on stream I sure hope not. so, actually. Uh, so I'm going to be playing Please as... timestamp it, because I want the awkwardness of the sounds you make to be as, as visible as possible. I don't, I don't know how graphic these ones are, but, you know, the, <laughs> depending I, I might, with, with, like with Witcher, I might just fade out the I mean, like, the here's the thing. When, when, I, think I think when the early, when the early Mass, Mass Effects Effect came out, out, it was considered I, graphic I, at I, the time. I hear, I hear these games are more hilarious than yeah. erotic. Yeah. Uh, but my plan is I want to be uh, Lady Rider, and I want to bang the female Shur Turian because she's really cool. Yes, yes queen, queen, do it. Do it. <laughs> the, the, the Lady Turian is, like, the, one of my favorite... I like that character way more than I like this game. Because she's just, <laughs> like, you know... Yo, I have a mood like that where I will literally like a character more than the actual franchise they come from. Yep. And I will stand the character, like, beyond the franchise. I'll be like, no, the franchise sucks, but I really like this character. <laughs> You're like, That's Sucker Punch sucks, Sonic. but... <laughs> oh yeah, Sonic Sonic can be like that sometimes. <laughs> oh man. Uh, Sam should be here around midnight as usual. I don't I'm trying know. to figure out what his time zone is, because like, what would that be his time? It's, it's Arizona. Arizona time zone. I'm too lazy to look that up. Every great moment in our history. Listen, it's dream. it's Clancy Brown. Hi, Clancy. I'm sure you're in this game a whole lot. Who boldly forward. It was achieved by those willing Dies to Dies in the first three hours. Spoilers. Ugh. We are all of us. Leaving behind I families. I love how Forest. broken this game is. <laughs> well, there have been ten patches since then. Ten patches. Ten patches Some that within the first six months. Sorry, no, I think they did patch it for a year, but they canceled Others. all forms of DLC three months out. Uh, me and Meredith, my girlfriend, were basically talking about how weird it is like that. Like, we lived in a society <laughs> where, um... <laughs> yeah. Video oh, games. Really gotta turn on those subtitles. We begin to where video games used to come out and that was the game. And... Now it's oh you're being old the, people. Yeah, we're we're basically being old people. Yeah. And 
now it, it now it, you kind of have I to look pay over for at the, you I look over at you and you've morphed into like the the old lady from up I I am I, I'm closing my notebook of memories and slowly withering away into death yeah <laughs> that's the way because she dies in the movie so anyway. yeah she does yeah as you fade away into dust Miss Mr. Ed Asner, I don't feel so good. <laughs> Mass Effect, sad. Can you imagine if that's what fucking happened to Tom? <laughs> 300 and 634 years later. I really like this game's premise, and I don't dislike a lot of its ideas, but they don't quite congeal as I'd like. Literally, me with majority of the Bioshock series. I mean, like, I think that's why I'm attached to it. No, this is Bioware, Sky. This is the <laughs> other Bio. I'm so God. God, no, like... such a fake geek girl. Ugh, God. <laughs> Don't talk to me about comics ever again. <laughs> yeah. Go read punchline? Question mark. Oh god. So, okay, so the comic book where Punchline actually showed up, uh, apparently outsold, um, the most of the Batman run, uh, which for the record, Punch Okay, but Punchline has literally no dialogue so far. Yeah, I, and, that also doesn't surprise me. And no personality. Isn't she mute? Yes. Oh, well then, I mean, that, that could be why. So she has no dialogue. Oh, the Joker would no, go for a, a gal that can't talk. Mm, I don't know about no that. No dialogue. I don't know and how I feel about that. Zero personality. All right, now and th her th this game debut sold out. <laughs> this game did have a couple of animation passes since release, but I've been taking it easy for six hundred. Ryder, Sarah, Recon Specialist, Pathfinder. I gotta get the subtitles on. I mean, can you make it somewhere tropical? Look, as, as someone who's used Maya, and I hate, I hate 3D animating so much. Um, the the textures look fine. They do. Te 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 model quality ain't the problem with this game, sweetie. I know, yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh, definitely not. All the aliens look fucking great, and guess what? Yeah. They an they animate fine too because they don't have to. They don't have to obey the rules of the Uncanny Valley. Oh yeah, um, and I know how hard it is to For, model the, the aliens, CG except the ones that look human, like this one. They don't get a free pass. But all the Turians and the fucking the 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 fucking oh god the Krogan they get a pass. Own just... choices. Wait, now subtitles are on? That's fucking weird. Uh, easy is no fun. I hope not. Oh no, they're not. Oh, I I get it. It's repeating a lot. How about you choose the worst dialogue choices and make it interesting? <laughs> I will. Ser well, there's no morality in this one, so. I can probably try. She's like, okay, yeah. This is a regular person's smile. God. Sam, are you monitoring? Look, it's Mr. Sam, Bland over there. Online? Yes, Doctor Tapero. Good morning, Sarah. Are you feeling well? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's ask about my implant. I just need a second to get my bearings. Oh, what's this about my implant? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make the sure that the okay, okay, the the the, the facial the lip animations do look a lot better. They clear, they did do up a, a couple of passes on that since I See, the thing is, is that there are things weird. that there are things that stand out, but there are like things that are clearly off. Yeah. Putting. Yeah. I'm excited. Um, ready to get to it. Right. I detect an increase hmm. in the level of in your system. The neural implant. I I, I guess uh, it, 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 the that, thing is, that is that <laughs> whenever she closes her eyes, it goes. Done. It's like, oh no, that looks terrible. <laughs> it's weird for me because as someone who's done animation, I try to be so so understanding, yeah. but there's so only so much I can do. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I fell on my face. 
Oh no, it's Dark Matter! <coughs> I love that album! I'm about to get hit by a pod containing my brother. What's happening? Okay, can I can I go to the menu now? Let's see. You need, need give me control. You need to fix it. No, I'm floating right now. No, not just yet. Not until I'm on the ground. Hooked on a feeling plays in the distance. I'm at the cryo Brace for a reset. Hey, look, it's a lesbian. Everyone okay? I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah or at least by. Feels like sensors. Actually, <laughs> confirmed by because you could do it. With, you could do it with either. Honestly, she has to be sapphic. There, you can't be sapphic and look like that. You can't not be sapphic and look like that. Is, is that is is that hair that is that hair a requirement? Is that how it goes? One day you decided you made the choice, or you, or it you just hit you rather, and you, your hair just. <laughs> you were like, I so I like girls, so I have to let them know, and you just shave yeah. off the side of your head. <laughs> Audio. Oh, where would this be? Oh, I saw it down there. Subtitles. Oh, speaker. Subtitles enabled. I don't know why that would be disabled in a story-based Bioware game, but I guess the people that made this maybe didn't have their heads on straight in certain areas. Gee, I wonder why. Wow, that camera turned slow. We gotta fix that. Uh, uh, uh. I've got a feeling. Way higher, yeah. Bring it up. I, I saw an edit where the Birds of Prey trailer was set to Hooked on a Feeling, and it actually works a lot better. That's a little too high. I can see that. Uh, let's bring it to half. Oh, shit. I don't think I did it. Oh, I miss my old cosplay closet, because there I could keep, like, everything, like, in one spot, and now everything's just kind of wherever the fuck. Oh, god, yeah. L look at her, like, base animation. It's, like, all jittery. Look at her feet. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh I can't keep up. It just can't keep up. What the fuck? <laughs> What is that walking cycle? It's 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 the walking cycle of a game that was made in eighteen months. Okay, hang on, keep doing that. Okay. Where you, yeah. where you, where you swerve and you walk around in a circle. That's the way. That's the way I like yeah. it. <laughs> That's the way. It, it's just. It's look at, just look at how she look bounce. Good. Look at how her arms right. bounce. <laughs> and if I turn, her arms just. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh boy. I'll talk to you. It sounds amazing, doesn't it? Right up so the premise around. of this game is really neat, which is. So basically, when they started development on this game, Casey Hudson, who's like the architect of the series, put out a tweet. He's like, "Hey, would you, what would you guys like to see from the series? Would you guys like to see a prequel?" And the audience went, "No!" And they're like, "Oh," because they were they were trying to be like, "Well, I mean, we fucked up the ending, so uh, can, what if we go back so we don't have to acknowledge it?" And people were very anti that, so they're like. Fuck! Now we need to find a way to solidify three very different galaxy states at the end of three that don't really line up at all. Why would you ask your audience if you already had it established? So, what they decided to do was they set up this idea that at the end of the first game, a bunch of people went into pods and sailed six billion miles in the other direction into another universe that's so far away it would never have to acknowledge anything that happened in 3 at all. Okay. <laughs> yep. As premises go, it's very desperate, but the idea of exploring a brand new galaxy is pretty Maybe neat. another decade or two wouldn't have hurt. I mean, yeah, I can see the uh, potential in that, in the yeah. intrigue, if you will. Um, 
His vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. Uh, I, I can imagine being one of those fans that was excited and hyped and waiting opening day oh, man, to Sam find Whiten. out it was well, and waiting for a piece of trash. Well, here's the thing. It, it, EA shot themselves in the foot in a big way with this. Because this was the first game that they, at least one of the first games, they had on their EA Access program, which is a thing that lets you play games two weeks early. So before the release day even happened, the clips were online. You're right, I remember that actually. The game wasn't yeah. out, but people were playing it, and those clips were everywhere. Yeah, you're right, I remember that now. There yeah. were people canceling those pre-orders, and I was like, I'm yes. sure it's fine. It was not fine. It was not fun. It was but not I'm excited. Fun. But I'm excited to give it a second chance. <laughs> this game does certain things right, like the combat, but then it does everything else weird. And it's mainly Sorry. because, uh, so much to me and Sam's eternal chagrin, uh, the Frostbite engine, which is what EA uses to make FIFA and Battlefield, uh, is a also Battlefront is a very good engine for a fast-paced shooting action, which this game does really well. Unfortunately, it's an engine that excel that excels at that and doesn't have any ability to do anything else in any reasonable way. Well, and they forced it on this game, and they tried. They really tried to make it work for this, but uh, yeah, this game this engine was never built to make conversations. Absolutely, Absolutely fantastic. fantastic. So obviously that's Stunning. the engine you want on your Brave. big your big storytelling RPG. Hashtag stunning hashtag Uh, I'm so happy. Right, now I can scan. Found it. That relay. Okay. Yeah, I can go reset it. That's fine. Let me go do that. As I wubble 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 up wubble up the stairs. <laughs> there. It's reset. Her arms get so wide and boisterous when you're going up or down. I I love it. It's a look. Don't you just wish you animated like this? God, I, I wish, wish that were me. IRL. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could wave my arms in the air like this, like I just didn't care. <laughs> oh yeah, her name is Cora. That's a pretty name. I like that. God, Sky, I know you've already determined her lesbianism, but you can't just fuck her already. I- I am just complimenting a pretty name. Uh-huh. Let me be. <laughs> I'm not trying to fuck everything. Okay. Well, I mean, most things, but, you know. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I do I have a Sonic reaction for um, every hot chick I see, and I haven't really actually used them, unfortunately. That's, that, why does that not surprise me? Uh, I don't know why I haven't used them, but I should. What's our position? God, that's super cool looking. Sam, we need eyes out there. Hey, look, it, it's Clancy Brown. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocols are clear. Oh. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other arcs, we proceed to our appointed golden world. That's Solid not how ground. people's arms move. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything it's about not supposed to go like that. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Oh, God, he looks so weird. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. Mm. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? Uh... I prefer solid ground. Your father's got a point, though. Solid ground sounding pretty good right now. Yeah, but... Pretty good isn't good enough. Yes, sir. Oh, no. I talked back to my dad. Don't, Don't talk, talk back, back to your, to your dad! dad. 
Oh. My I told God. you about that. Is Look, that it's a planet. I wonder what those are like. That's Habitat 7. New Earth. They're like, hey, we picked out this planet a billion light years away, and that's gonna be the new Earth. And then they get there and they're like, it's surrounded by a space storm. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. They were like, I, I wish we thought this through. Yeah, because they're like, surely nothing will happen to this planet in 634 years. It's not a lot of time, really. We don't know how bad it is yet. It still seems like it's our best shot. Maybe. There's just a lot on the line. Sam? The energy from the phone oh. is dumping our senses. Planetary conditions are there. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, get a, drink a drink because, because holy, holy fuck, fuck, it's hot, hot up here. here. Gotcha. We're maroon. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. When the power runs out, it stays out. We need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not. As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. Somehow, I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet fallen third. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? Let me mess with the volume a little bit, real quick. Uh, there we go. Uh, stubborn runs in the family. Guess I rubbed off on him. Just as long as he knows what he's doing. It's not like the cavalry's coming to save the day. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. <sighs> I have so many emotions going through my head right now. <laughs> I can't pinpoint half of them. Brother's going to hate that he missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in our blood. I was born a minute ahead of him. I never let him forget it. Don't worry. I'm sure Scott will pull through. Yeah, and when he does. Personal space, ma'am. So, let's get out there and find him one. Right, you'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. Introduction. As a member of the Pathfinder team, you play a critical role in the Andromeda Initiative's efforts to establish a foothold in the new galaxy. The team faces many challenges. Golden, si Golden World Site Verification, Reconnaissance and Mapping of Unknown Territories, planet Planetary and Celestial, Scientific Analysis and Discovery of New Phenomenon, per Potential First Contact with Extraterrestrials, Establishing Diplomatic relations with, relations with Local Inhabitants, General Support of Settlement Outposts. It's an old superstition of your dad's. The blue and and white is actually a really good look. It's we a really cool set of colors. That or not, no bathroom breaks on this trip. Looks like dad's already... Hang oh. in there, Scott. Didn't mean to go that hard. First contact protocol. In the event, any member of the Pathfinder team... Path. Pathfinder team encounters intelligent alien life, it is imperative that first contact protocols be strictly observed. The Andromeda Initiative holds the principles of peace and cooperation among our highest ideals. Aggressi aggressive action against extraterrestrials is only permitted when hostile intent is clearly demonstrated and the Pathfinder team members are at obvious risk of injury or death. Hey, Ryder. It's Kirkland, right? Yeah. I think we met just before the Hyperion left Earth. Not sure if you know Greer. Hi there. You dad say anything about what's going on? Uh... We are home? Looks like we're already home. That's a relief. With everything that's been happening, I wasn't sure. Guess I can unpack my luggage. I get dibs on any islands we find. See you guys on the ride down. Alright, let's pick up my helmet. Actually, let's, let's see if we can talk to more of these guys. Before they inevitably all die. Hey Fisher, how's it going? <laughs> I heard a rumor 
heard from the bridge that your dad and the cat Oh, it's, it's your alone, Paul. Don't what believe rumors. What have I become? Right. My sweetest Zero, friend. No one overheard you say you were on solid ground. I was, I had that song playing in my head today at work, cause um, there were like screaming children everywhere and I just, I couldn't handle it. Oh, and when I hear screaming children, I go straight to all around me are familiar faces. <laughs> it, it, was, it wasn't just like the child screaming, it was like it went loose. Um, it started running around the store and then screaming. This is what the power mining is was, all about. It was not no fun times. No humans ever the worst thing I can do is look at the they lips from a sideways mean. view and just watch them outwardly the extend and go back in. Nothing but stars and dead reckoning to guide them. Ugh. And a map that said, here be dragons. <laughs> well, if they made it, we can too. Excuse and maybe me. see a dragon along the way. All right, let's not get eaten by dragons. I'd prefer to eat lunch, not be lunch. Ugh. You're not a real explorer till you've got some scars or bite marks. On that note, I'd better get my gear in order. All right, let's let's do let's do the spinny spin again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> real queens right here. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. The Pathfinder is now requiring side arms. I've opened the armaments locker. Wait, to armaments. A precaution. Please arm yourself, Ryder. Guns. You never know. Now let's get to the shuttle. Okay. Um. Dr. Carlyle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than me. Hmm. Dr. Carlyle. Medic on hand. And if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. Uh, this could get rough. Yeah, we're just not sure what's on the other side of the door. No problem. If it has teeth, that brought the pliers. Yank them out myself. That was a weird walk, but all right, all right sir. Team, button it up. We leave in five. Sir, Thank you, we sir. broke out the weapons as requested. Anything Thank you for your kind Seem prudent, given the situation. We'll be down a man. The white Scott and the blue is actually a really good set of colors. I heard what happened. Your brother's strong. I mean, it does do justice, yes. Yeah. This guy seems really not broken up about the fact that his son is in a coma. But admittedly, so is our main character. I was gonna say, everyone's faces are non-existent. I, I mean, like, not... Like, they have nothing. Like, they're like, yeah. okay. 600 year nap and he oversleeps. They're like, this is my resting animation you know face. Never was like, this is fine. Time. My brother's in, my brother's in a coma, I'm sure he's fine. I need you, Sharp. Yes, sir. Your mom would have been proud. Of both of you. Okay, team, listen up. I chose each of you. Oh, the the, the, the pink-haired lady has a pair that's barely pasted passion. on. But because your dreams. Same. <laughs> that's, that's when your awake is snatched. The edge of the oh no! And then <laughs> discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up. We okay. kept dreaming oh, that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance this? first. So, let's go make history. Holy shit! I found all my other posters. This is what happens when I actually start adulting. Yeah. They're all like, yeah, I waited 600 years for this. I'm like, bitch, you were asleep! It's been like 10 minutes for you! <laughs> 
Like, I get it, we all want to be dramatic, but like, come on. Come on! Whatever it is, stop the Hyperion in its tracks. That's a nice, that's a nice view. If you say so, steer clear of it. I have to figure out where I'm putting this. Mm. I have to fix it. What are you putting where? Gravity. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Got it. Alright, I won't ask about your vibrators again. What? I'm, listen. You gotta make conversation somehow. And by you, I mean me. I mean, you're right, yeah. Good to meet you, Liam. You're an anomaly, to say the least. Yeah. Shadow showed up last night and, like, you know, was asked about the juicy dumpers. Uh, was, yeah, um, so that was, that was a, that was a trip. That was a, that was juicy. Exactly the word choice I was thinking of using. Oh god, I just remembered Shadow got laid. <laughs> Copy that. He, he had this weird moment where he tried to be like, listen, listen, I get laid a lot, Devin, and I'm like, what, why do you feel the need to say this to me? What, what, I don't, what, what are you trying to get up on me? I'm, 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 I'm the doubt reaction from the fucking, um... God, I, somehow I forgot the game, um... Oh, my apologies. I couldn't hear you over the sound of my dongle being swashed. Oh. As Shadow. Oh. I was unloading into a juicy dumper. Oh! Oh no! I want this deleted. I want this off the interwebs right that, now. That post is so bad. Oh no! Not the bland guy! Oh no, I've fallen too! Acceleration increasing. Mm. That poster got ruined. Ugh. That was a really awkward moment, actually. That almost felt like the engine wasn't built for it. Anyway. Well, it's a good thing that we can do that, I guess. This game's amazing, don't care what anyone says, lol. Well, you know, I respect the take. That? Someone in the chat. Who says it? Oh. I respect the take. I respect the take. Uh, it's a good take. <laughs> Is it Tiger? <laughs> oh god, yeah. It's Tiger's alt account. Oh no. <laughs> this is Ryder, come in. <laughs> Tiger explaining to you the intricacies okay. of David Cage. Anyone there? Oh, listen, even Tiger's not that bad. Sam's offline. Coming fresh. I'm surprised we are too. I don't know. It was all a blur. Shuttle split in two. Okay. This is like some nightmare. Yeah. No way this is home. Now that that's out of the way. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah, this planet seems very hospitable. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't, like I don't get the issue. It seems like this is definitely the place to, to make home. You know, what with its evil floating rocks shooting with electricity. Right. Palpatining it up. Right. I don't need to say that. How's your survival training? I've seen my share of trouble. I forgot I could it's combine these that efficiently. Well, crazy just found us. Those rocks out there are floating. Tearing cognita. No one's even allowed to talk about Palpatine in front of me. Damaged in the crash. <laughs> no good to us now. Did well, you know that Ray's dad was, exactly was a failed clone? It's sort of a plant, and maybe dead, but maybe not. <sighs> there was a fucking meme I saw that was... It was 
the girl you like, and it's Ray. Uh, her dad, it's Palpatine. Her grandpa, it's Palpatine. Her her grandmother, it's Palpatine. Her brother, it's Palpatine. You, and it's Finn. <laughs> Oh my god, that's beautiful. R D at a research oh. center. And safety tip. Imagine how that. tired we are of the fucking Palpatine shit. God. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get everything Sam said it's together energy, here. but that's in space. Mm. Well Sam yeah. is still too. Hell of a cloud. All right, I do have a gun already. Good, I do have some. Yeah, that that feels pretty good. It's almost like this engine can do one thing, and it wasn't the RPG stuff. What's going on over there? I am organizing things finally. Oh, um, I see. I hadn't... I hadn't organized anything um, after I moved out. Oh right, this game uses an, right. This game uses an auto cover system, which are which always works in games and never has issues. Oh, that's right. I have two of the same hot vinyl. I was gonna do something about that, For, and I never did. You know, you know, it's funny, like the um. Oh yeah, I just let them finish up with that dialogue. It, it's, it's funny, their, uh... Their dialogue... Like, the, sp the regular sprint animation actually looks fine. But her regular run looks weird. <laughs> like, the big sprint? I think it looks alright. But then, the minute I slow her down... It's like, ooh. I, ooh. I still have questions why my mom was like, I, I thought you would like how to name Miku. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, so no, no lie. My mom has no idea who Hatsune Miku is. Well, yeah. But, so she literally gave me a Hatsune Miku um, pop vinyl and was like, "I thought it looked cute here." Oh my god, that's pretty incredible, actually. <laughs> And I think that's so funny. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, Emma. Hey, get up that cliff. We I think I can see a pop Okay, there's. I have like two different Sailor Moon hot vials, and it's occurring to me that that's the case. Wait. I was a cop. You gotta move all those pop vinyls around. Yeah? I do. My Rorschach thing still doesn't have a stand, is so is there even a point to that? Probably That's not. It. There. Oh, don't worry, Sky. Rorschach, Rorschach is my favorite superhero. Says specific people. Who maybe don't get the point of the character. I know. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> so, so is fucking Alan Moore, but that's not the point. <laughs> oh, yeah. No one, no one is disrespected more when someone calls Rorschach their favorite superhero than Alan Moore. Alan Moore, like, wants to kill himself every time he hears that. Well, in fairness, I think he just wants that in general. What? I mean, you're right. What the hell is that? <laughs> I saw a Watchmen at Walmart the other day, and I was, I was... Really confused why they were selling fine literature at Walmart. <laughs> I thought you meant like they were playing the movie in like the, the electronic section on all the TVs. Don't know. No. But it's our job to I would never. That sounds like an old man. I would never allow this. He was right. I would punch my here. fist through all the screens. Stop it. One thing at a time. <laughs> I I cannot believe that a movie that literally followed the comic book page by page mostly somehow still sucked. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what you get when you you hire a music video director. 
I forgot he did music videos. And then he got my chemical romance. He still and does music. He still does music videos, arguably. They're just very long now. Wait, did, did he direct the music video for the end of the movie, too? <laughs> Probably. Because there's literally a My Chemical Romance music video at the end of the movie. Scott, Scott this is a guy that thinks subtlety is the villain coming into the scene as I Just Want to Rule the World plays in the background. <sighs> so, by the way, the reason I got Twitter banned is because I was saying... Is yeah, we no, were I, all I, I know, I know, I, yeah, because of yeah, uh, yeah. the DC we were all just We were all discussing at a thread how Ezra Miller was basically saying that... Uh, Wonder Woman and the Flash have a brother-sister relationship. And we were all saying how how shitty it was for Joss Whedon to write the really creepy thing between them. And we were like, hey, that that sucks. And I, and I made kind of like a joke. And they were like, well, that's creepy. Anyway. Oh, shit, this just got real. Combat time. <laughs> Hopefully Twitter realizes I'm not actually going- I'm uh, going to- <laughs> well, They rarely do. Remember- remember that one time that there was the guy that told you to hang yourself with a hemp rope and I told him to jump off a bridge and they banned me? <laughs> oh my god, you're right! <laughs> like, Twitter doesn't okay, give a shit. Okay, that same exact day, I was on, um... In one of the group chats I was in, and they were and they were like, "Yo, there's a literal pedophile on Twitter," and they linked a tweet where someone was like, "I work at a daycare, but I shouldn't quit just because I'm attracted to children." And we were like, "What the? Yeah, we were like, what the fuck? Why is this allowed?" <laughs> so that's why I'm sitting. So my ass is sitting here being like, I got suspended for a fucking joke, which is clearly a joke, because why is someone in bumfuck Pennsylvania going to kill Joss Whedon? <laughs> but this person is literally working with children in a daycare! <laughs> and bragging about it! I'm going to kill myself! Can you move? I... I have no words for this. I can't... I so can't... That, so that certainly felt pretty good so, to shoot. Oh, uh, I think what best describes my feelings of it is that Incredibles meme, which is I can't, I'm not strong enough. <laughs> Mine usually uh, is, please, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I almost said that to, um, what's her face, that, um, the, uh, the one, uh, movie reviewer. But she still blocked me anyway, so it's fine. I forget her name, but she blocked me, so it doesn't matter. Genetics are all over the map. Uh, I guess life took a different turn here, huh? So this is one of my biggest problems with this game, is that you're going into a brand new galaxy and you're like, like there could be any type of life here, and you get here, and there's only two races, and they're both biped bipedals. They're they're like fish based, or one of them is rather. They're a little tied to each other, but that's story stuff. Uh, but it's like. You get here, and you could have fucking anything here, but they're just, they're just, we walk on two legs, got two arms, that's it. It's like, well, couldn't we get a little, something a little more interesting? Even Mass Effect 1 had the fucking jellyfish dudes. That's spectacular. Yeah, it birthed the great, the, one of the greatest lines of the seventh generation, which is, "You are just, you're just a big stupid jellyfish." It's horribly offensive if you think about it. So the game certainly feels good to control. Like I, th I can't take that away. It's it's no wonder that Call Me Kevin's best meme is Ring of Fire. Mm. <laughs> I 
don't know who that is, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a YouTuber, but... Uh, so one of his best videos is where he goes into the game Comedy Night. And he keep and he keeps singing Ring of Fire, and they keep trying to boot him off the stage. But every time he keeps coming back to keep singing. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> he keeps saying, like, get off the stage. <laughs> He's like, oh. what don't you like my cover of Ring of Fire? <laughs> Time to shoot things. Goes behind. Oh, he's down there. Okay, so I hate when um, figures don't actually have the fucking stand because then it's impossible to get them the balance. Oh god, yeah, I hate that. A lot of Funko Pops have that issue. Right. Yeah. All I want is for you to stand up. I, I, I've noticed that apparently I have a bunch of figures. That, um... Say that again, sorry. Apparently I have a bunch of figures that... Um... I guess... I am going to need to do something about it. Oh! I know what that is. Never mind, that's not the pop... Uh, pop... Final, that's something else. I thought you said you have a bunch of triggers. I, I do, but that's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> we're, not, we're not here to discuss that today. Yeah, not tonight, <laughs> no. Uh, where is... Uh, is it like... Oh, I see. It's in this zone. Oh my god. Why do I have so many things? <laughs> what have I done? I, I guess Sonic is gonna go next to Sailor Neptune. That's fine. The ship you always meant knew was meant to be. Finally. <laughs> Finally. As you I wake have up, the as, chaos you, <laughs> as you wake up in a cold sweat. Yeah, I have all the Chaos Emeralds. Now the now a Sailor Moon will date me. Even with the Imagine the mind that it fits. That's even possible. Evolution separated from ours by two million light years. I think the first thing that'll happen is is when Meredith comes over, she's gonna look at them and she's gonna be like, they're off center. Because that's exactly what she would do. They're, they're off center. I'm leaving you. <laughs> I can't I thought you were better than this. Shadow okay. to say bless you. I I don't know, jerking off to prolapse. And then he might be, or he might be creating it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Can I check like a map or something? No, no, I guess not. Can I mess with skills yet? Uh, oh yeah, this game does have a fairly involved uh, upgrade system. Oh, I'd love the charge. Pull is gonna have to be a priority, so I have push and pull. Oh no, I'm on fire! It's really bad, because I'm on fire! You should probably try not to be on fire. I should, but unfortunately, it's a curse. I will be forever on fire. How do I actually put this mod on? Or do I have to like be at a workbench or something? Huh. I guess I have to be like at a workbench or something. <laughs> Oh, that's where it is. Okay. 
Investigate the fires. Hey, look, the flares go up over there. Could be our people. I'll mark the nav point. Oh, Shadow is doing D and D stuff. Yeah, I gotcha. Okay. Check on Kirkland. I'd like to check on Kirkland, but I have no idea where they are because this game hasn't given me an objective marker that makes sense. I certainly have an objective marker, but who's to say if it makes sense? Alright, I'm just gonna make forward progression in that case. Oh, Jesus Christ! It's, it's evil doggos! I thought no doggos Whatever could be evil. Like that. But you were wrong. I was wrong. And I'll never make that mistake again. Oh, look, a doggo! <laughs> the other half of our shuttle. What a mess. Yeah, that dodge works no matter what, huh? Cells. They got the jump on us. I sell value. Yeah, one of those Watch for cloaking. Oh shit. That worked. I forgot how to heal. That's a really nice healing thing, actually. Uh, well, you're pretty good at this, right? Huh? I fought off a Batarian pilot or two in my day. I was with a team that dug up Prothean artifacts. Well, you're building. Maybe we should see if there's anything else useful. Okay, our scope. Flight recorder here. Flight recorder. What good does that do me? I'm gonna switch controllers, hold on. Okay. Back to the newer, fancier, but still busted one. You know what, by the way, you know what I'm actually going to do. Settings, gameplay, adjust that down to casual, because I'm quickly remembering that this game's combat is good, but I would have more fun just going through it, frankly. Might even switch it down to narrative, depending on how I feel. 
Because <clears throat> this game does get pretty bullet spongy. And I just. I, I, I don't care to bother Doesn't look with like that. home at all. Oh, man. Alright. Yeah, no one's living here. So what's it for? It doesn't look like the other structures we've seen. Different design. There must be a way to get some lights on. Hmm. Find a way to access the sealed room. Huh. Who knows? Let's call it a weird alien machine. We sure could use Sam right about now. Shotgun barrel. Turning on the power, jackass. That can't be good. Oh. So the weird alien machine is a generator. Yeah, sure. Why wouldn't it be? Maybe it did something. Hmm. Same language as those aliens. Wonder what he's saying. Kill all humans, probably. Alien device. Crap. Oh, I think I just turned on the alarm. I think I might hit. All right. You have a good one. All right, you too. Oh, I'm tripping over things. Oh god, don't die. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's early for that. It is way too early for that. <laughs> you gotta stick around to, to midnight or past that sometimes so you can ch hang out with Sam. That's the only time he's able to get on, usually. I know, I know. Because that's when he gets off work. I well, know. well kind of it's midnight for us at any rate. Time zones, are, time zones are a fuck. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just... I, I, think uh, it's I, around, guess, I think it's around 8 for him. Like yeah, I guess it's just work tires me what? out very easily, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Also adulting. So, the struggle. Yeah, that makes sense. So, anyway, night. Alright, good night. And now it's just me. So I guess I have to keep the conversation interesting with just me, don't I? Well, it's gonna be really weird when I have to ditch this controller and send it back. I, I'm gonna have to stick with the the white one that's got the busted right stick for a while once uh, Not exactly I get that shipping label. Thankfully, Caitlin is handling the controller again. That's very nice of her. Any theories, recall specialist? Some kind of technology on this planet. <sighs> Something these aliens are interested in. Like archaeologists? Yeah, bloodthirsty archaeologists. The weather's still crappy. Heads up! Yikes. They were waiting for oh! Oh shit. They got a lighting rod up and running. Are these things stalking us? Starting to feel like it. Shit. Last one's down. Let's not wait around for more.
doing a good job of it, too. Try to light him up. I'm on it. Pick your target. Plenty of those. Ah, oh, he's already dead. I got one. Rever oh, yeah, up. up. Alright, uh let's pump Paul. Oh right, they actually let you put in more things. Um I just confirm that. Uh combat. Tech. To incinerate, please and thank you. Oh shit, no, undo shit, undo this. Yeah, no, I wanted flamethrower is the one I wanted. Yeah, hell yeah. Invasion is what? With an invasive VI controlled machine swarm that weakens defenses and spreads itself to nearby enemies. Really? That sounds awesome, actually. Calvary to the rescue. Nice to see you guys. You too, Harry. How is everyone? Still in one piece. You got here just in time. Hmm. Where's my dad? He went scouting ahead while we fixed the shuttle. Incendiary ammo, consumables, holster. Ryder, there's weapons and ammo at the shuttle. Stock up. Did these things try talking to you at all? I will definitely take Barely a Barely a word. Rifle. Then started shooting. What about you? Ah, uh, hell! Enemy ship on the way! Get to cover! Go! Go! I'm trying to remember. How do I. How do I pop the. No, that's not that's not cool. They got balls to try and airdrop. Don't let up! Ah! Lightning's out their shuttle! God, that's such a good one. That was limp. Liam, enough. Right, sorry. I get a little pissed when people are trying to kill me. I hear you, but this isn't the time to lose our cool. Uh, okay. What about the others? Fisher's wounded but sitting tight. No sign of Greer. And our shuttle's in pieces. Guys. <sighs> I didn't 
know you were biotic. Don't worry, it's not contagious. Before they attacked, I... I managed to fix our comms. You're a lifesaver. Now just take it easy. Sam, are you there? One second. Curious healing established. Affirmative, Sarah. The Pathfinder needs to speak with you. Good to see you in one piece. What's our status? Liam and I are with Cora. We have wounded crew. The good news is our shuttle's been repaired. We can get back to the Ark. Not with these storms. It's too risky to fly. One second. I'm reading through something about the power wheel. And that it doesn't have one. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, they they dropped the the power wheel. Again, weird. <sighs> I'll take that chance. It's not any better on the ground. We're just human lightning rods running around here. Not if we can turn the lightning off. I don't follow? I have an idea. Rendezvous at my coordinates will... Damn, they spotted me. Sir? Sir! Can you two manage alone? I can keep her stable. For a while. Let's move. Sam, do you have the Pathfinder's position? Marking the nav point on your map. Doesn't look far. Let's make this quick. What about Griff? If he didn't turn up by now, nothing we can do. The Pathfinder's all that matters. All right. What well, was my dad scouting for? Totally he forgot to get readings on that tower. Thing. But anyway. Well, the Netflix was near it. Exercise caution. The storm front is already gaining intensity. Oh. Nice to have you back, Sam. How about some good news next time? Keep my mind. I don't like me. Locate Ryder, my dad. dad was in trouble. We have to find him. We're gonna find the pathfinder. Right. Like right now. Uh oh, right, they have stuff too. Uh yeah, whatever, auto all of them. Oh. Sure, that's, that's fine, I guess. Hold on. Yeah, auto alarm, of course. Yeah, there we go. Hug the wall. Good bodies here. Lightning didn't do this. Incendiary rounds. My dad's been busy. He wasn't in seven. They don't mess around. Oh yeah, let me read that. Uh, unusual mixture of various genetic traits. There is evidence of DNA modification, but no other juncture. Totally an artificial design. No conclusion can be drawn this time with the nature of the this technology. Somebody was pretty clever with these rocks. Only way to survive here. 
now. Two, if you count shooting on sight. Just standing there. Sir. Stay low. Oh. Big stupid spire. The clouds. Together they're disrupting the entire climate with undirected energy. Which suggests if we can get in there and shut it down, the lightning goes away. And the shuttle can get us out of here, in theory. We just have to get past them. It's a hell of a gamble, but we won't know until we get in there and try. No illusions about this. It'll be a nasty fight the whole way. It's Sarah's game, so am I. But we risk turning a skirmish with these guys into something worse. It's them or us. Oh, it's them. Problem is, we're outnumbered. I've been working on that. We just need to change the math. Hmm. Nani? Why did my jetpack make a cool sound? Let's go! Sam, load combat profile. Here they so, you, you know, so, here's the thing. So, I, I can actually just switch these out? Huh. Interesting. So yeah, there's no wheel, but I can't there's nothing to stop you from doing it mid combat. That's kinda interesting actually. Now we've got their attention. Watch the lightning. Get into that building. We don't want to get bogged down out here. Yeah, this game's a lot more fun Ready? if I could just not Let's worry about the difficulty. Oh my god. 
left Greer on the table. They killed him. We'll try to come back for him. Have to keep pushing ahead. Oh, you want me to put them in specific places? Got it. Player choice, right. be damned. Watch it. Do our Make thing. We held them off at the shuttle. We can do it again. A lot of people still counting on us. I'm just getting warmed up. They mean business. Off your dad. Whoa, twenty five percent decrypted. Hurry, don't have long. Hold both sides. Can't let them slip through. Why is this place anyway? I don't know, but they sure want it back. Well. 50% decrypted. It's an unusually complicated syntax. I can see that. Try a recursive search. Every now and then I'm, I'm trying to sit still, but my, my control is making me move a little bit. <laughs> I think I really pissed that one off. Maybe because I shot him in the face. Wow. Incredible. Is that, like, supposed to be endearing? They're falling back! Could be regrouping for another push. Stay sharp. Decryption complete. That did it! It's a security override. I'll try to open the door from here. Ah, damn, it's jammed. I need to take a look at it. Got no, it. It's okay. We'll keep a lookout. We need to... Thanks, Dad. Put your back into it. You really think we can shut this thing down? I don't know yet. Sam's decoded part of the language. Now we'll see if I can have a conversation. Who do you plan on talking to? More like what? I think it's automated. Come on. These are the moments that make it all worthwhile. Sam, begin 
translating. A moment. This game looks great. And when their armor is on. I'm actually kind of thinking I might even switch the difficulty down to the narrative. Like, honestly. Because, like, genuinely, I kind of just want to get through it this time as opposed to last time where I gave up. And making that fast would be it's nice. Working. You did it. There's hope at least. That's all anyone back on the Ark is looking for. Hope it'll work out. Well, not if we stand around looking at sunsets. <laughs> Let's get back to the shuttle and... Oh no! What if you just, like, pass the helmet back and forth to each other for a few minutes, you know? Like, I was lasting there for a minute, now I got my breath, and I hand it back. And then give it back to me. And then give it back. And then back to me. You know, I feel, I feel like we could pace this out just for a few minutes. What about him? Oh, he's fucking dead. Pulse is weakening. Tell the Ark to prep med bay. Come on. Pulse dropping. We're losing. It's a seizure. A brain continental connection. Get us a sun node. Ba -da 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 da 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 you were clinically dead for 22 seconds. Oh, great. Then how did I make it out? Hey, you're still with us. You, you were here even though I was talking, but you didn't say anything Guys, until just then? Guys, it's Sam Node. Right as a week. Who were you talking to? Sam. I didn't hear him. You're up. Look here. And here. My father. Where? It was your life or his, and he chose you. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Sarah. I know this must be a blow. We weren't close. I... That's crazy. I can't believe he's gone. One minute, everything was fine, and then... He... I know he could Oh, God, distant. don't look directly into her eyes. He once said that when his time came, 
He wanted to go out among stars no one had seen before. What are we doing in Sam Node? Sam is now part of you. In a way we don't entirely understand. It played havoc with your brain. Sam? Your father authorized the transfer of Pathfinder authority to you. Shouldn't that be Cora? In theory. In reality, you're the new Pathfinder, Sarah. You can't be serious. What's the matter? I think you're up for it. It still goes against protocol. Cora, are you really okay with this? I won't stand in the way of your dad's decision. It's all academic anyway. Sam's linked to your mind on a deeper level now. Trying to untangle it could kill you. I know this is tough, but we need to start thinking about the next step. A lot of people are counting on us. Is the Ark still drifting? That's the thing. Whatever your dad did with that tower, it saved the day. Some sort of atmosphere scrubber. The energy cloud thinned out. We're on our way to the rally point now. Should be at the Nexus soon. She needs to rest first. She has two hours. We'll need our Pathfinder for this. Okay. If you say so. Oh, I, uh, I checked on your brother. Still no change. But if you can pull through, so can he. The bit of your dad in both of you. Your father will be missed. What's going on, Sam? This is our private channel. I shared it with him. Hmm. Why did he do it? Why me? Unknown. But he never acted without reason. Alec wouldn't want Why us is to this weird for you that he would he pick his daughter? Or like his child. This isn't like a like an out of nowhere decision. Oh, oh I got some indigestion. I got a burp. Hold on. There. <laughs> let out. Let out a nice good one. When the mic was muted. <laughs> I don't want to be rude. Not exactly, Saren. I feel like I should feel intimidated, but I don't. Because <laughs> I remember how bland that dude is. Oh, man. Ryder, good to see you on your feet. We're at the Nexus. It's the forward hub for the entire Andromeda initiative. The Asari, Solarian, and Turian arcs should be there, too. Let's hope they've had better luck. 
Starting our approach now. All right. So as big as the Citadel back home. Nexus Control, this is Arc Hyperion requesting docking clearance. Captain, I'm only getting their automated approach channel. Not a live person. Well, like it or not, we're here. Take us in. All right, Miss Dunn. About to be real done with you. <laughs> Construction should have been finished by now. Could be worse. How? Habitat 7's a bust. We might have started a war with the first aliens we met, and our Pathfinder's dead. This better be rock bottom. Green across the board. Docking initiated. All right. I got us here. Oh, this is the shot. Good luck, Pathfinder. <laughs> oh, man. It looks better than it did, but whoa, whoa, boy. Uh, journal, Nexus Reunion, the tram. Oh. Additional tasks, helios assignments, allies and relationships. Got it. You gonna be okay, Ryder? Captain just called me Pathfinder. This is really happening. Just take a deep breath. I still can't believe Dad's dead. This should have been his moment, but now it's yours. You just oh, that run. Oh, boy. Where do I start? I'm just not sure I'm ready. We it's like a ready fucking to chicken waddling. Right? Just updated the chart. So, always keep a jump chat handy. Ah, <sighs> oh, my nose. I apologize. This is what we've been waiting for. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Why does it look like that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That is not like a reasonable run, guys. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. I don't even the think Shepard's walk Parker. cycles were Just great, to but fuck. The and provide safe harbor for the arcs. It means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Got to have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one. After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah, rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Here we are. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? Avina. Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. Uh... What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you uh. are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? Place is deserted. Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7? The gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3? Or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, 
Rest assured, our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh, oh boy. Habitat 7? That's where we landed. She's way out of date. What can you tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way Galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune <sighs> over. What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not from the looks of it. Well, you know. That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star you is know, you. You know, over the last ten minutes or so, I'm remembering why I was initially so taken with this game's uh, premise, regardless of execution. Uh, and I hope that that can maybe persist. Plants are still alive. like they didn't finish building it. That's cause they didn't. Hello? This place should be packed with people. There's a guy. Maybe he's got champagne. Hi there. <coughs> oh man. We're from Arc Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear uh, you? Oh, did you say an Arc? Uh. Yeah, we just got in. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. But we <sighs> thought you were all dead. Oh. <sighs> Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. Hey. Look, characters that can't be, like, poorly animated because they, they don't need to obey the rules of regular animation. I'm Sarah animation. Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. Well, I've got a shipload of people that says we're here. Of course, it's just... You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Ox Center. Okay. See, he has a nice walk cycle, but that's mainly because he, it's hard Everything to fuck that, that could up. Go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? No. Not even close. Oh. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an arc to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power. But y'all didn't like turn the lights on. The 
crew of the Hyperion. Uh, good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. Not as much as it means to us. You're in a we had one hell of a time getting here. <laughs> nice to see some friendly faces. God, I'm excited for Eternals. Hungry faces. Any supplies you can spare would be appreciated. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at her. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Oh, that looked bad. Alec is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, huh. but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? That's just Sam, right? I'm ready to step up and do what needs to be done. I can handle it. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. That's no way to treat a guest. Yeah! Yeah! I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. Hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. God, I just remembered what was going on in my life when I was playing this game for the first time. Welcome to the Nexus. Oh, man. That's, uh, that's a weird memory to separate this from. Thank you for standing up for me there. Hmm. Hopes in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Alright, now we could talk to everybody. This is next no, it isn't the what we wanted, but it's what choice do we have? What's up? All right. What happened? I remember when you were the basically the poster child for uh, or the poster woman for uh, how bad this Sorry, game looks. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything, and right now I just want to know what happened dead, with though. Alec. In the moment, it saved my life, but it seems my father meant for me to get the role eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. Well, you know. There's also this strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug-and-go. The tech here... thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. Okay, failing outpost. You've had no colony successes in over a year? How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles... 
We can't just plot Whoa. down an outpost and expect picket fences. Oh my god, she she bounced. I saw it on the stream. Scout, evaluate and inspire. Oh. The initiative promised a goal. Holy shit. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful utopian horseshit. <sighs> Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus of Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. Plan for the hostiles. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life. Not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack. They disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry. Fourteen months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Not sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder. Not repeat it. Ugh, oh, goddamn poetry. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends, or...? I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've path found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. Fair Excuse enough. me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove okay. Got it. Oh. <laughs> oh, that those are movements. Weapons and stuff. I got you covered. Use the console to take a look through what I got. It's I got stuff to sell. Missing half my stock. Sure thing. You got it. Shop till you drop. Here I come. That's fine. Hey, wait. Please don't drop anything you bought from me, okay? Tam would have my head if anything happened to you on my account. Uh, what do I sell? Oh, sell all salvage. Salvage. Did I? Did I already do it? I guess I did. Uh, these are obviously way more expensive than what I have. Yeah, I only have 168 credits. Yeah, not exactly in my price range. Oh! Don't scare me like that! Oh, tell me that's the map. Because, like, shit. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, the map was right there the whole time. Okay, there we go. Okay. See, now that I found this that I'm so blind for not seeing before, uh, I'm feeling a little more confident. Like, oh my god, that's a blindness unrivaled. No stand up there. Too small for licits. Pathfinder. No time for our beer yet. This place is a mess. Security is it. Let's call it strained. I can believe it. Nexus is running on empty. Not just that. A lot of the exiles were security. Everyone was trained and armed for Frontier. We know Ket are dangerous, and now we have to worry about our people too. No idea where they went, but they left mad. Uh, they were frustrated. If they just wanted to kill, they could have fought to the last here. Apparently we're the big hope for everyone. Not the Hyperion showing. Just us. I'm with you. It's just... a lot. As long as the Nexus is here, as long as we're here, we have a job to do. Double down crisis mode. I can do that. We can do that. Ready and willing, Pathfinder. 
All right. Uh, it's not right. That was weird. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband, he's locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit. Holy shit. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Milken Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. Yeah, sure. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Milken I love him. Got it. Are there other... I was going to call them sub-stories, but, you know. Task. Okay. Help you. Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilk and Rensis. Oh, Ooh, the, these, this I'm lighting right. is not flattering. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Nilk, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanting to chat with you. A Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Your wife's all broken up over this. She says you didn't do it, and that she loves you. <sighs> She's a wonderful person. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I was part of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. To put the music. Security chief Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. Last I checked, getting into a spat wasn't against the law. There's more. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and... I, I guess I panicked and fired. A witness saw the chief's chest explode. Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them. But I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. I'll check out the evidence. Maybe something doesn't add up. It'd be nice to have someone with an open mind looking at it. You're a Pathfinder. Huh. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. All right. What's up? I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results. Though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fuels <sighs> militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Turian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. Uh... I spoke with Nilkin Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. Doesn't seem right to put all that on him. Of course it isn't, but that's the perception. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. Hmm. That is the difference between murder and accidental death. In this case, motive plus opportunity plus eyewitness account equals murder. Look, knock yourself out. A key witness, Cassidy Shaw, works in operations. Go ahead and talk to her. 
And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console there. As far as I'm concerned, this case is closed. Uh... Let's talk. The cat. What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The cat. We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The cat don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. It's rough out there. I might need backup if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. In fact, I can <laughs> my, give you a My Apex team. Legends clan. Cut down their response time. Thank you. Our current ops are on the terminal. See if there's anything that could use a shot where it counts. Uh, are the other Turians managing okay? I'm trying to process all so, this information. So. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. The good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know. <sighs> my sister became a sculptor, and cousin Nyreen went pirate on Omega. Everyone oh! was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering... Oh my god, really? Mentioned. You're Nyreen's cousin? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so Holy shit. to be part of it. God, it's just shit like, you like that. Fuck, I love Mass Effect. <laughs> I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those cat found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched God, the gun, I just and freed the these others. Games back. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war, I know the they're all on Xbox and like all like my discs work, but fuck, man. Sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny. Once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. I want them on this console, the one I like. Also, I want them to remaster one because it could use it, you know. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Playback recording. And where might that be? The Nexus versus Colonist Milken, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Milken. We're taking it back. No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... No! Get him off me! Get him off me! Hmm. Doesn't sound great. You. All right, moving on. Shocking plans? Cassidy Shaw? I'm Sarah Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. What's wrong with your hair? Oh, man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, No. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Hmm. Reynolds was leading you back to retake the compound. Did you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. Hmm. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Fronts fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. But you don't expect your best friend to shoot you. To me, that's the saddest part. The Chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Okay. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? 
I lost sight of Nelkin in the turmoil. When we found him, he seemed in shock. He couldn't speak. He looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. Okay. I appreciate the information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Okay. Oh, jeez. Well, let's go talk over here first. Uh, austerity and his little nozzle goes belly up. Four ring circuits don't like how Tan operates. This state by the Krogan is obvious. I don't believe his intentions are ultimately good, but he's an opportunist who's likely to create dissent. I don't see the Nexus coming together if he's left unchecked. It's already polarizing Addison. She's taking the cue to circle the wagons. I think I can talk to Kandros about this and at least try not to get, and at least try to get the two of us more coordinated. And maybe not. Seriously, hate this kind of drama. What's yes, up? I know the Hyperion docking unannounced caused some switches to blow. That's fine. I don't care. We know the problem is more widespread than we thought. We're working to fix it. That's all. My crew's working on it. Oh, that's We've funny. moved the op center to the top of our priority list. That... There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. See, that animates fine. At least fine. With the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. Hmm. <laughs> when we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with a genophage. Right. The genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Solarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Solarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show a mutation against the virus. A natural defense. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage? Give the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. Still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%, which is a lot better than what we had. That's awesome. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. Uh, Nexus problem. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots offended my clan, so they left. And to top it all off, the founder of the initiative, Gian Garson, was killed. What happened to Gian Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Ten might know more. But I thought the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get material soon, things will go downhill. Fast. I noticed there are the there are Krogan. Krogan around. You haven't spoken to number eight yet, have you? Number eight? Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. Oh. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and, in return, get more say in the initiative. Why do you call Tan Eight? Because he was eighth in line to take over the Andromeda Initiative. 
I like to remind him of that now and then. Keep him humble. Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. Yeah, I got that. Nothing more for now. Good luck out there. Huh. I'm not talking a whole lot. I'm digesting. Well, the car is about to this hop on. This is the planet where we landed. <clears throat> Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. I thought I didn't measure up as Pathfinder. Director Addison keeps her own counsel. I keep mine. And when you disagree? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the golden worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. <laughs> and if I fail, Bye. I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And okay. when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. <sighs> Something wrong? Ryder, can you see me and Samu on the Hyperion? Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. Okay. No. I'm fine. Ryder, you have my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't they're snapping into their animations. Although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. Jesus Christ, there calm down. The initiative as the human arc. I'm working on it. We have to. Tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? One moment. Let me, uh... gonna send out those again uh i'm looking into the nilkin rensis murder charge and i want to go to eos and retrieve chief reynolds body that isn't usually pathfinder business first murder in andromeda and i'm impartial figured you'd want to get it right settling an outpost comes first but i suppose i have no objections physical evidence will only bolster the case i'm hoping it proves something else happened this case has been a political nightmare. With all we've been through, the people need stability. I hope anything you find reaffirms what's been done, but if it sheds a different light, we'll deal with it. We'll send the coordinates of the murder scene. Thanks. Good luck. Uh, about those arcs. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No, and that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, 
Please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. Uh, what about them? Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. And that shit is never getting addressed. Despite all the really cool races being on board. Fuck. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? I guess that was going to be Assuming DLC, the but life and outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on site can be discouraging. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. Yeah, I imagine. Sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you... It's been a disaster. The Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, Gian Garson, is dead. How did Gene Garson die? With the rest of the leadership. When the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. Uh. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Jean Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. Candros mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. Exiles, we called them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloane Kelly. She um, used to be one of ours. Who is this Sloane Kelly? <laughs> she was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen? Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. The Krogan demanded a greater Whoa. say in political matters. The last place you want them involved? Their muscle. Oh, for fuck's sake. More. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. Oh my god. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. Oh my what god. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Can't Carson. imagine. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the Scourge, some at the hands of the Exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management, then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. So, you're an accountant? Oh my god. Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours, and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative, and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. Yeah. Oh my God. What more We're can so you tell me about the initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune. 
Perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. Oh, I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. What do you know about the early days of the Initiative? As most everyone knows, Gian Garson's vision made it happen. She was an entrepreneur on Earth. Wealthy. Young for a human. Garson had the idea for the Initiative in the early 2170s, I believe. Many thought leaving the Milky Way was impossible. But she persevered. And as with most great ideas, the doubters were wrong. It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into the mix. Oh my god, dude. Salarian, my kind tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. Why do you think most people came? There are thousands of reasons. One for every colonist here. What does any pilgrim seek? Usually, happiness. Finding the thing that eludes them. The thing to fulfill them. While we cannot promise they will find it, we can facilitate the search. I think that's everything. That's all. Ooh. Thanks for your time. That was a I'm lot. Happy to help. You will find our futures depend on each other's success. Good luck. <sighs> Holy shit. Arknatanus. Uh Oh yeah, Arc Pachero Solarians Lunicia Lucinia Asari Natanus Turian Hyperion Humans. Tempest crew should report to the docking area at once. Uh, do that. Yeah, sure. planet was toxic. What if they store oxygen in porous tissue, like Quiro's rockfish? Whoa! <laughs> oh my god. Perhaps both. Life is infinite. I need to learn... Okay, if I'm gonna play this game, I clearly need to learn to look at that shit as a bonus, rather than a hindrance to my, immer to, to my immersion. You must be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Thanks, Mr. Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. Uh, let's see. Sure. I'm usually out in the field, but I wouldn't mind talking shop or lab. You know. You are always welcome. Not that we've had much to study with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? Okay! Pathfinder, those bioscans are superb. Could you gather more for our comparative conservation effort? What conservation effort? Ah, my thesis is on the console there. Broad strokes, we're comparing and preserving organisms from both galaxies. If you donate more bioscans and samples to the catalog, I can get you a... That sounds good to me. Uh, wait. Yeah, cluster. Scan Andromeda Wildlife. Sure. I mean, not here, but... You know. 
I'm sure I'll find some. Uh. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, so... Let's pump pull. And then Omni Grenade. Barricade. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty good. Do their models have to load in before I can hit auto level? Oh, that's awful. Why would they do that? Okay. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. Oh My God! Got the brunt of it. His face. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. What is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's not good. Sorry. Understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Whoever's doing this has to be stopped before someone gets seriously hurt. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, like me. But I'm an engineer, <laughs> not a PI. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait. That's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me, if they start hitting critical systems. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that'd really help. Sure! I've sent the locations to your Omni tool. Just send me the data when you're done. No, 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 I'm fine. And I don't, I don't know. It just blew up. Find out why. Be careful. Uh, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just Got disable it. power to the panel until Raj can check it out. Oh god, look at her go. Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. That walk. Scanning. This panel has been tampered with. Send the data to Raj. Yes, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, I received the data from Sam. It really is sabotage. Any idea as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. One moment. One, one second.
All right. Sorry, wait, is that below me or? So I don't know if there will be a stream tomorrow. Uh, wait. Hold on. Throw out the saboteur. Huh. I guess it's all down that way. I don't know if there will, there will be a stream tomorrow, just because I think I'll be playing this through the day to get through some other stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, suffice it to say, I will still be playing this all day tomorrow. Seeing how much I can get done. Sorry? Well, oh. I understand what happened now. That's how... That's how weird it is. Well, it's not weird. It's just... It's so specific and yet simple. I'm coming for ya. I'm coming for ya, bitch. Whoa. Zara Kellis? Yes? I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I'd never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here. I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omnitool. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing, and it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data Miss Callis has accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Patel's. A third party seems likely. Looks like someone is using both you and Raj to cover their tracks. They need pretty high level access for that. Still, it's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. Raj, you there? Yes. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to any... Oh, I would cut off the dialogue. That's fine, I guess. I wasn't listening to it or anything. Silly for me. Silly of me to want to listen to it. Okay. Let's check another. Got it. Let's just text. Kondros, game control. Oh. And another scrambled file. Coincidence seems unlikely. Let's check another. This file is hey. also corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You'd need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Somebody working for Kandros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled. 
but if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. You will need to conduct scans from close proximity. Gotcha. Got it. Nope. Oh. Are you leaving? Oh my god. You son of a bitch. One fucking second. <laughs> I sent him the Kermit image again. Now my son doesn't even want to be in a call with me. How depressing. No news on the Turian arc yet. Or is this militia business? Wait, hold on. No, I, wasn't supposed, I wasn't supposed to come down. Oh, I'm scanning. Got it. Negative match. Unfortunate name. Human male. Inaccurate match. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, jeez. That's a squirrely run. Wait, no. This way? Oh, down below. Oh, I see. Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. I was gonna say, you're not gonna turn and to face medicine. me? First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence? Ah. I expected something like that. I can handle the pressure. Good to hear. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your brother's doing. Okay. One second. I'm gonna message him directly. Oh no, he just saw it. Good timing. Gotcha. What's up, Dale? Dale Atkins, right? We need to talk. Look, not to be rude, but I have work to do. Is that what sabotage is called these days? Work? You're pretty arrogant for the new kid. You don't even know what's been going on. Proof says you've been up to no good. Figures. Screw this. Screw all you hypocrites on this station. You weren't here when they kicked out our loved ones. Mutiny? We just wanted answers. My sister is out there. I don't even know if she's alive or... Hi, 
I'm sorry for what happened, but setting explosives isn't the answer. Neither was sending people into exile because they didn't agree with policy. <sighs> I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people. Killed them. Like those who got killed when the leadership had the Krogan stomp on my friends? I'm done talking. I confess, it was me. Do whatever you want. We can't let you stay on board. There's no saying what else you're capable of. Wait, you... you'd let me go? If you call exile letting you go, sure. You leave and you don't come back. I'll leave. All right. Neat. Priority ops, better beginning allies and relationships, he lays assignments, additional tasks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh Oh, shit. Jeez. This is the one I want to focus on. Hello, Sarah. Welcome back to Sunnode. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential? You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. Sure. It's not best to speak alone. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. Huh. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So, what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. Huh. But the human's still in charge, right? Of course. I was never intended to supplant the Pathfinder, only to support and enhance your abilities. Good to hear. So what's the plan? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, okay. unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. 
Yes. Uh, we're definitely going with Adept for the time being. Printed books. Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders too. Your father's first sight on, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Okay. Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger, related to your father, and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Got it. <laughs> the coffee machine Mom got for Dad. He was so busy designing you. Needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Gotcha. Several of them are encrypted. Uh, general logs. The day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. Sam, <gasps> this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Liara to Sony, huh? She studied the Protheans. When my team used to dig up artifacts, we'd debate her work. She had some pretty controversial theories, as I recall. Never gained much traction. I have loaded Dr. Sony's research onto data pads. Got it. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Uh... Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Scott. Dr. Tavera says he'll be fine, but... He's my son. How can I not worry? I hate to leave him like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are... things you're gonna find out. I hope you'll understand. That log is not currently accessible. Ah. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Got it. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago. 
then went extinct. In the year 2182, their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope <sighs> they may prove useful for the research community. You know, I kind of thought the stream would be ending around here because I thought Sam would be showing up, but, uh... Well, he's not here. So, guess I'm going to keep going. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay. Something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Okay. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Ellen, what did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Hmm. Wow, hearing mom again. Never knew that's how dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, dad moved us back to Earth to care for mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Uh, let's see. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM. Simulated, adaptive, matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How did my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. Hmm. So there are other Sams out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced Sam in the initiative. Got it. I take it you're based here in Samnode? Correct. This is where my core processing unit resides. However, using quantum entanglement communication, I remain in constant touch with you and the Pathfinder mission team, even over great distances. What more can you tell me about my implant? The implant itself provides me with direct access to your senses. I can see, hear, and experience the same stimuli you do while in the field. This raw data enables me to provide real-time feedback and analysis of the situation. Then Dad added the secret sauce. You removed the restrictions on my access to Pathfinder physiology. Uh-huh. Just promise you won't fry my brain or anything? 
Trust is an important concept in any relationship. Alec taught me that. I will not fry your brain. It would end badly for both of us. Me more than you. Do you know anything more about Scott's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlisle's reports. He is providing Scott with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. Got it. What did he mean by a symbiotic relationship? Symbiosis is a mutually beneficial relationship between two life forms. A flower provides nectar to a bee, who in turn provides pollen for the flower. The bee gains nourishment and the flower can propagate. In similar fashion, it's by crazy, there's too many steps. By your father's experiences and will now expand with yours. In return, I provide you with capabilities and analysis beyond normal human faculties. We each benefit. Uh, all right. That's all for now. Of course. Dear God, I think we've actually hit the end of this enormous segment where, uh, you know, we, we, before we actually leave. Like, God damn, that was a lot. That was a lot. Your father's personal loss. I still have one log to listen to, though. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. Mm -hmm. Okay. Search for memory triggers. I'm sure I can look up those. Okay, time to get the fuck out of Dodge. Hey, what's up? Ready to see what Tan gave what's us? What's up, B? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? And final checks looking great. Yeah, there she is. It won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. That lighting was not flattering. They call her the Tempest. Okay, I actually really do like this ship. I think this ship is a really good ship. Go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're yeah. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Oh, oh, that walk. Whatever happened, it wasn't me. I just got here. Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? <laughs> Came here with the family, didn't you? Son's still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? 
Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Thank goodness. For a sec, I thought I was going to have to deal with Addison again. <laughs> and no one wants that. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Oh. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Right. Everything state-of-the-art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Good to see you're looking so well, Sarah. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. Yeah. It's all yours. Yeah, I really She's like this the design of the ship. And the fastest ship in her class. <sighs> it's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. All right. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. Yeah, yeah she already said that. Thanks. Dumbass. We call this the it's research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Strike team missions. Is that this multiplayer stuff? This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Candrews for authorization to participate. Got it. Uh, buy it's a it's desk. It's still me. not getting anything. Seems like we're forever racing. But there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. I'm all about what's useful. <sighs> oh, this is. Especially if you grabbed anything from Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down, give you options. Options are good. We need more of those. For everybody. Yeah, well, everybody should be so lucky. This tech is aces. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. R&D, research development, blueprints. Uh, development, craft blueprints and nomad upgrades. You're using blueprints you have established. Research is weapons, got it. That makes sense. Each research category is different research and the by Helios or Remnant, got it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, uh, yeah. I need to get better ship for that. Hell yeah! As soon as fucking possible. C eight. Interesting. Research data, 
Milky Way research data for this stuff. Augmentations. Gotcha. And then for development, I see. Yes. Hell yeah. Put that shit in. Put that shit in there. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Wonder how fast that engine is. That's the bio lab. We can grow plants for food and oxygen, keep any specimen safe. Hey. That's kind of crazy long, actually. Gil. Hi there. Can we talk and stuff later? I've got some last minute adjustments. Got it. She'll be ready to go when you are. We're almost out there. Hello. Finally. I've just got to finish this download from the Nexus. We'll be ready for launch. They're not going to talk to me until I until we've launched, so I guess that's fine. Hey. Although I will go down below. Securing cargo, and checking everything made it on board. The bridge report's ready. Ryder, finalizing orders, flight plan, command access, ready when you are. These are the Pathfinder's quarters. Your quarters. Sam's router is down there, too. Uh, let's... Oh, wow, that's awesome. Yeah, actually. Yeah, actually. No, wait, I'm into that. I'm into that. Some might think this is garish, but I like it. I like that mix. Yeah, I'm into that, actually. I like that. Uh, you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, I would rather... Yeah, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to... This one is gonna be that. And this is going to be the trim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, the purple trim. Blue in the blue in the waist zone, mostly green. That's that's my jam. Uh, marvelous to meet you, Eric. Huh. Can we meet on the Nexus for a chat? Oh, 
Oh. Yeah, sure. Why not? Verifying my connection from Hyperion to the Tempest. Uh, the Nexus confirms we're free to depart. Before I leave, might as well do those. Yeah, I guess I might as well do this before I leave. How do I leave the ship? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, that is a slow ass turnaround. Ah, I can only leave hey. from the bridge. Ah. Yeah, I like how that looks. It's more appealing than my last one. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jack. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. Uh, let's see. So, how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? One second. Okay. We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. Um... We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. I'm literally going to fly straight back. <laughs> Fuck. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. Oh, hold on, I left the oven on. Turn the ship around. <laughs> to Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callo, take us in. Probe away. Get us down. Oh, neat. Oh yeah, you can skip these now, thank god. Oh my god, that's such a huge improvement. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know what they were thinking making it so you couldn't skip those. Like, I understand. This is pretty neat. To be able to watch this. Right? But for fuck's sakes, I don't want to be forced to. Every time. I don't know what they were thinking.
Yeah, this is way better. <laughs> They're like, did you forget something? And I'm like, yeah. So I'm gonna end up talking about them just by walking out the door. Pathfinder, do you have just a minute? Ryder, isn't it? Kerry Tvesa, freelance vid maker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Tans asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. Nice to see someone so devoted to her work. That's kind. Sometimes the camera makes people shy away from me. That's a shame. <laughs> so that's what I need. The truth, I mean. Someone needs to record the history we're making. It takes integrity to record the truth and nothing but. Well, I do my best. And you could help me out. The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. I no. Want dirt and blood Leave. Our story, not the convenient fairy tale Tan's looking for. Interested? He don't mind treading on the initiative director's toes. What would he do? Pull funding we don't have. I'm game if you are. Okay. Interview away. Let's start at home. Fourteen months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing. We have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? Yeah, honestly. All expeditions have to deal with supplies, enemies, or hell, just getting lost. We'll deal with all of them. We just need time. Tan will love that. But if that's your take, that's what goes in. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. Okay. This was more fun than I expected. You were great. I'll get to work editing. All right, let's go get our let's go get our space monkey. Oh, hello, Pathfinder. Here we are, one young piejack. Ready to see Andromeda, huh? Sam, can you send a note to Cash? Make sure our new friend gets delivered to the Tempest. Acknowledged. Nice to see you again. Oh boy, that's oof, oof, oof. Oh. Oh, I see. I didn't realize I had that much. Bye. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector. That's probably smart. Uh, More talking. Nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? I could stand here and drink in that view all day. When I was test piloting the ship back home, I often did. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. 
Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I like the Tempest, but I'm not sure I'd travel between galaxies for her. The Unknown Frontier had its charms, too. It's just strange not having the rest of the design team. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations, tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Salarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Salarian Ark missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Did you hear anything about the Ark back on the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Salarians. Cheer up, Callow. We'll always have Director Tan. That snide little bureaucrat? All the more reason to find the others. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. Is that all you got for me? What can I do for you? If you helped to build the Tempest, you must know plenty about her. Just about everything. By memory. It was quite the effort to get her working. The initiative needed absolutely up-to-date technology, which we all had to coordinate, and some of it was rather tricky to acquire. Acquire? By. Legally and above board, of course. <clears throat> yes. Sadly, the other Pathfinder vessels were lost when the Scourge hit the Nexus. The Tempest is truly unique. Tell me something else about the ship. Her engine's based on the Ark's Odyssey Drive, which got us through dark space. The core takes the static electricity it generates and stores it in capacitors. We basically make our own power supply. It took Serena and Tion weeks to get it working on a smaller ship. And a few electrical shocks. You know, I haven't actually met many Solarians. Careful. Depending who you ask, we're conniving spies, genius researchers, or meddling scientists. We have to pack a lot of living into 40-odd years. Everything gets accelerated. Lines blur. I just hope we don't repeat our old mistakes out here. Tell me something else about the ship. Our aerospace engineer was Tian Ada Vasmore, a Quarian fellow, and absolutely fearless. Once, some Omega scrap dealer pulled the we don't sell to Quarians nonsense. Tian found a workaround. What did he do? He glued a memory foam to his environmental suit, then, during the negotiations, leaned against the drive core he wanted, very casual. It made a perfect mold of the components, and the scrap dealer was none the wiser. <laughs> Tell me something else about the ship. The glass on board? It's actually a clear oxide and nanofiber compound. It bends rather than shattering. How tough is it? We're only an arm's length away from hard vacuum. Our testing involved three drunk Krogan with sledgehammers and a C-sec battering ram. It's sturdy. Tell me something else about the That's ship. That's pretty fucking sturdy, holy shit. O'Connell, our systems designer, was running a power distribution model. How power moves through the ship. But he forgot to lock his terminal and we, um, <laughs> added a few embellishments. For two days, poor O'Connell was convinced that turning on all the bathroom lights would overload the engine core. Tell me something else about the ship. I'm all out of stories for now. Okay. Sorry. You'll have to make some new ones. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Ah, alright. Uh, I'm going to check out the Space Monkey, and then I think I'm going to wrap the stream. I'm going to keep going, but uh, off stream. I'm probably going to do a lot of this right tonight and tomorrow, actually. Probably going to do a lot of this tonight and tomorrow, and then I'm, uh, you know... Ooh, I'm going to... I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow just because there's stuff I want to take care of. But, you know. Yeah. Uh, anyways. I'm gonna... Well, let's let's talk to the monkey first. Pet the monkey. Whoops. Looks like our Pijak friend got out of his cage. He'll be fine. Won't he? The exercise will probably do him good. Here's open. Well, anyways. Yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it. Uh, I'm going to keep playing this game, going to keep streaming it. I'm actually having a good time.
to be perfectly honest with you, I'm I'm kind of in that honeymoon phase right now where I'm like, fuck, I love Mass Effect. And I know it will wear off because it did last time, but for the time being, it hasn't. And I'm excited to play more, which is a little more than I thought I would feel, actually. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's... Uh, I guess uh, that's it for tonight. See ya.